rules and our statutes, court rules, all say that people are entitled to post bond, and home incarceration is one form of bond. HIP allows people charged with crimes to be released from jail but still tracked with GPS devices. An average of 670 people were on home incarceration from Metro Corrections each day in 2017. That these individuals are being monitored, they're not simply just running around on the street. So I think it is a good intermediate step between turn them loose with no monitoring to keeping them incarcerated. At July's Louisville Forum, experts answered questions about the program. Proponents of home incarceration say it's a good thing for the inmate and the community. Allowing people to reconnect with their families, stay connected with their families, pursue education and employment. It costs about $70 a day to house someone at Metro Corrections. Home incarceration costs just less than $12 a day. But critics of HIP say people facing violent charges such as murder and assault are being let out of jail and making communities dangerous. Jail officials say in 2017, 11 of the 6,100 people on HIP had a homicide-related charge. One of them came back to jail on a violation, and five or six had their charges amended down. And in some cases, judges might include HIP as an option because they know they otherwise can't monitor the person. A lot of these individuals that have more uh, severe charges also can afford bail, so they may get HIP with bail. And that's one way for the courts to keep a little bit better track on them. 